Brian, your side with tonight's cover story. Superheroes taking over the streets of Charlotte. We're talking Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Iron Man. They're here for the 41st annual Heroes Convention. Believe it or not, comics are a big business these days, boosted in part by all those blockbuster superhero movies. Anchor John Carter joins us here live in studio with more on the state of comic books here in the Charlotte area. And John, a big change in the industry too. Yeah, a, a really big change. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. Okay. Right now, I want you to come over to your television screens and take a look at this. This is a comic book. It's Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man number 26, and it just came out two weeks ago. This is quite possibly the hottest comic book going right now. It, this issue completes a story arc and a major character dies at the end. No Could spoilers. Spider -Man? No spoilers. Okay. But you know that. Now, you may be able to get a copy at this week's Heroes Convention. You won't be alone if you do. Thousands of fans are going to be on hand at what many consider the premier comic book convention in the nation. Heroes aren't hard to find on Pecan Avenue in Charlotte is one of the oldest and most popular comic book shops in the southeast. And owner Shelton Drum is the mastermind behind the upcoming Heroes Convention, an idea he first came up with in 1982. And I wanted to uh, do a multi-day show and bring in some more guests that, uh, that I wanted to meet. And I, I felt like my customers would like to meet. And um, so that's how in 82 I did that just really to promote the store and kind of a thank you to the fans. Um, and then it doubled and then it doubled and then it doubled until we got up to you know, 10, 15,000. Went to the, the uh, Charlotte Convention Center in 95 when the new one opened. This year the Heroes Convention will take up an entire floor of the Charlotte Convention Center. Literally millions of comics will be available Fans will get to meet the top artists, writers, and publishers in the industry, as well as other guests, and there will be plenty of comic book-related paraphernalia for sale as well. It's, uh, it's the mainstream. We used to be that niche. You know, um, we, we were, I don't want to say we were all the, the weird, you know, nerdy Nerds, guys. Yeah. I don't really like to refer to us as that, uh, or geeks even. Um, but yeah, it was a small group really who were interested in the comic books. Mostly at that time it was superheroes. You know, over the years, comics have grown up. Mm -hmm. And there, there are comics about anything you can think of. Mm -hmm. um, comics that, that win uh, all kinds of literary awards and prizes and stuff. And they're made into movies and TV series. And so there's a lot to choose from now. Um, that's what we've always wished for. And while Shelton Drum has been in the business for decades, Colton Sykes has only been in the business for three years. He's the owner of Sailfish Comics in Concord, and he'll be at the convention. To me, I think it's a great way for the fans of the industry to meet the creators. Like, Heroes does a great job of getting, like, top-tier talent that work on these books to come and do signings for fans and for them to talk to them and meet them. And I think that's wonderful, not only from a fan getting to meet them, but from us, we get to sell more of those books that the artists and creators worked on. So it's a, um, you know... It's, uh, it, just, it just works well, it gels. The price of comic books has certainly changed a lot over the years. Back in the day when I first started collecting, this amazing Spider-Man number 42 sold for 12 cents. Well, here's the latest issue of The Amazing Spider-Man, some 900 issues later. Today it sells for $3.99. Are comics a good investment? After all, Action Comics number one, which featured the debut of Superman, sold for 10 cents in 1938. A mint issue recently sold for $3.4 million. I always tell people to never really invest in comics just because you don't know what's going to be valuable down the line. It's just, it's really hard to say. I always tell people, collect what you like, and if it happens to be worth money down the road, that's awesome. Comic books are great fun, but they're also a business, a multi-million dollar business that underwent a huge shakeup last month. For years, comics were distributed to local stores through a single company, and new issues always came out on Wednesdays. But now publishers are going to multiple distributors, releasing new comics on different days. But yeah, that is definitely a shakeup. It might confuse some customers at first, but I think having people come in on two different release days is healthy for a store, because 
some pe most people come in here once a week, so that's four times a month. Despite the shakeup, Shelton Drum believes the state of comic books will remain strong across the country and here in Charlotte. Well, five, 10, or 20 years ago, when digital was coming on, you know, everybody thought, well, paper was gonna be gone by this time. It's not, and I don't think it'll ever go away. Um, I, th I mean, there's gonna be no value in having a file of a comic book, I don't think. Um, NFTs didn't get talked about very long. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're still out there and gonna work, but um, I think paper's gonna survive. And if you are looking for comics like Amazing Spider-Man number 26, Charlotte has a generous supply with more than half a dozen comic book shops in this area here. You should check them out. Meanwhile, the 41st Heroes Convention goes gun underway tomorrow at the Charlotte Convention Center. It runs through Sunday. And this just happens to coincide with the release of the new Flash movie, which also comes out tomorrow, and that's sure to get folks in the comic book spirit. And by the way, tickets are still available for the convention. We've got a link on our website, wbtv.com slash web extras. Jamie, I hope you got your copy of Amazing Spider-Man. I haven't yet, and you better hide that from me so I don't <laughs> grab it from you. Okay, so two quick ones for you. Yeah. Favorite superhero? Superman. Superman. DC or Marvel? DC mainly, but I read them all. Do you? What about you? Favorite superhero? Uh, Iron Man. Iron Man? Yeah. Good choice. And Marvel. Yeah. So they're a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. It is. And they're for everybody these days. Well, how many kids started to read, right? Yeah. Because of the It's a of great way to get kids right reading. There. It yeah. really is. All right. Great stuff, John. A lot of all fun. Right. Give me a fun weekend in Charlotte, too, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. All right. Thank you.